Did you know you can be a pastor or a church leader and still miss Jesus? Now, before I tell you the super quick story behind that question, I want to make sure you know you can click on the link in the description below or tap on the button to find out more about Closer Than You Think, to find out more about our resources, to find out more about simplifying your path to spiritual freedom, overcoming bad Christianity, and realizing that God is indeed closer than you think. Now, this is the release of the first video, uh, and this video is being released on Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2024. It's one of the first steps to this new business venture of Closer Than You Think, and it may be a little cheesy, but since love will be a major theme of many of our resources, why not have it in lights uh, on our videos? All right, hey, so back to it. Let me get into the story here. It's been about 20 years since I found myself at a unique church conference in Indianapolis as a church leader. I had been serving as a youth pastor along with other roles and enjoying the ministry of preaching and teaching, really. This conference was a gathering of pastors who were exploring ways of, quote unquote, doing church differently. And I was there because I thought if I could just tweak a couple of things here and there, then I could clear my head, I could get out of the funk of feeling stuck and move past a growing inner turmoil. While things had been looking good on the outside, I mean, really, church attendance was up, the youth group was active, my preaching was well-received, God had burdened me with a sense that I was merely going through religious motions. Surely, a few quick ideas from a church conference like many I had attended before would fix the problem. Maybe I just need to find the right strategy. That's what I thought, anyway. At least... Um, that was my thinking until we quietly gathered in a room and the presenters asked me, why are you here? God wouldn't let me lie to myself or others any longer. He knew the root of my problem and, and he was digging deep in the dirt. Suddenly, all of the safe answers about programs and strategy and getting other people on board, all of that fled my mind. My heart pounded and tears filled my eyes. I could only get three words out. I miss Jesus. Since that time, I've been on an awkward and uncomfortable, yet liberating and exciting journey of rediscovering my first love. And the meaning of a common, simple word like church has been revolutionized. When I began this journey of rediscovering the meaning of following Christ, I was preoccupied with finding the correct definition of church. If I was doing church wrong, then I wanted to fix that and make sure I did it right. Because I saw church as an activity, and the logical use of my energy was to enhance that activity. Once I realized church was an identity, not an activity, everything changed. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to click on the link below or tap the button to find out more about our resources. Again, especially the Overcoming Bad Christianity course where you can learn three ways to simplify your spiritual journey. You can figure out how to preview the course, and there's much more at ctyt.net. Have a great day.